two Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers were ordered by the Royal Navy. The first of the class, HMS Queen Elizabeth, was laid down in 2009. It became operational with the Royal Navy in 2017. The sister ship, HMS Prince of Wales, was laid down in 2011. At one point the future of the second carrier was unclear due to funding problems. There were plans to sell the second aircraft carrier, or mothball it. However decision was been made to complete construction and to operate this carrier. The HMS Prince of Wales was launched in 2017. It was commissioned in 2019. These are the largest warships ever built for the Royal Navy. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are much more capable than the older Invincible class light aircraft carriers. The Queen Elizabeth class warships are capable of carrying over 40 aircraft and helicopters. These aircraft carries will operate F 35B stealthy multi role fighters with short takeoff and vertical landing capability. These fighters will perform air defense, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. The F 35 Lightning II has low radar cross section due to its stealthy design and radar absorbent materials. These warships will also operate a mix of CH 47 Chinook, Merlin, and AW 159, previously known as Lynx Wildcat helicopters for utility and anti-submarine warfare roles. Air Group might also include WAH-64 Apache attack helicopters. The hangar accommodates up to 20 fixed-wing aircraft or helicopters. These aircraft carriers have two elevators for their aircraft. Each elevator can lift two F-35 or similar aircraft from the hangar to the flight deck within 60 seconds. This aircraft carrier has two smaller islands, instead of one larger. The forward island is for navigating the ship. The rear island is for controlling flying operations. The Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers are armed with phalanx close in weapon systems to counter airborne threats and 30mm naval guns to counter seaborne threats. These new aircraft carriers have integrated full electric propulsion. The Queen Elizabeth class vessels are powered by a Rolls Royce Marine Trent MT 30 gas turbine, developing 48,000 horsepower. Also there are four Wartzilla diesel generators. These aircraft carriers have a crew of around 700, increasing to around 1600 once the aircraft are on board. Initially, the contract cost for both Elizabeth-class carriers was estimated to be $3.9 billion, $1.95 billion per carrier. However over the years numerous cost overruns, financial crisis, decision to slow down construction, renegotiation of contract and other factors increased construction costs. In 2018 it was announced that the final cost for both carriers was $6.2 billion, $3.1 billion per carrier. Plus another, $5.8 billion for initial F-35B stealthy multi-role fighters.